Hey guys, welcome back to another video for the Weasel Doodlers. Today I'm going to be making a video on painting gags. Since Easter wasn't such long ago, I'm going to dye them in these colors and these are what I'm going to decorate with them with. So we're going to boil them first. This is the blending chart to colors. And here are the cups, so let's get into it. We're going to use pink. We're gonna add nine drops. I think nine drops. Because you always want the color to be darker because usually it comes up brighter on the egg since the egg is white. That looks like very dark red. Okay, let's get the egg. That was just my first best hand. She's in this video too. And let's put it in. Yep. Looks so cool from the inside. Okay, so now we're gonna make the next color purple. We need blue and red. Two drops of blue and two drops of red. One. One, two. OMG, that looks so cool how it's mixing together. Now let's make it purple. Stir, stir, stir. Look how it's boiling in the air. It just looks so cool. It looks magical. Okay, let's get the egg. And plop it in. Whoop. The bottom looks white. You can barely see it, but you can't see so it. See how the bottom is pretty white? That's what I was talking about. Let's make blue. I'm just gonna not count this time. The camera is counting. Okay, so it's looking pretty blue now. Very beautiful blue. Time to get the egg. But first we need to mix it, just to make it perfect. Let's get the egg. It's easier to do it like that. Because that way, if you added too much water, the water won't splash out. OMG, that looks so beautiful. Now yellow. Yellow needs the most because yellow is a very light color. And the more drops you add, the brighter it will be. It's serious doing it right now, but since it's coming out of the sun, I'm gonna take it. It's just broken or something. I don't know exactly. The more the better. Looks very yellowish clear. I'm not counting like I said with the blue. Now let's add the egg. Now we we'll drop it in. Oh, it looks so beautiful. That's how the yellow looks like. Blue, purple, and pink. Okay, the pink egg is drying because it's almost done. See how beautiful it came out? So, time to get the egg. It's really nice looking. A bit wet. That's okay. There's a white spot on it, but I'll try to cover it when I'm drawing one. So, I'm drawing a rose. Here's the sketch. Now I outlined it, and I really like it right now. And now I colored it in with some red. I'm adding some more, and I added some green vines. <laughs> it's very nice looking. I added some thorns too. And here's some more flowers. Here's another one. It's not the first one, by the way. And here is another one. Very nice looking. Here's my sister. She is making some too. I really like hers. She was doing a nice tree. Okay, so now I'm going to show this egg. I don't even know how many roses I put it on it. It's really bright though. I really like how the pink and red goes together. So beautiful. 
So that was the, the red egg I'm doing, I mean the pink egg, and here is the blue one that my sister is doing. I'm also doing a blue, by the way. I'm just going to put in another one. I won't record that, though. Here is how it looks like in a basket. So, E3. So cool. It brings in the, the holiday spirit. It's Easter and the holiday. I don't know. Just zoom on a bit. Okay, a bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's good. Yeah, 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 like that, like that. I'm still here. And here is the egg, the blue egg, that my sister painted in the nest. It's so festive. I love it so much. She didn't paint on the other side, though. But that's okay, it's still so beautiful. So here is the egg. And I really like it. Now, for my blue egg, I'm painting a hummingbird. I never painted a hummingbird before anywhere or drew a hummingbird anywhere. This is my first ever look. Those feet look like hairs, by the way. Okay, I colored it. I didn't... Well, I used pink instead of red for the chin part. And that's how it looks like right now. I really like it. Since I didn't have gray, I tried to find the color that is closest. Now I'm going to use some eraser to rub off some of the blue off of its stomach. And now I did a tulip too. Looks purple. And now I even added a rainbow. So here is the final look. See how I use an eraser to rub off some of the paint for the stomach. And I really like how this one turned out. But for some weird fact, I did the flower in the sky. Okay, now for the last egg of mine, the purple one. I don't even know what to do on it yet. Maybe I'll do a bunny or something. But for that, we need to rub off the color with this eraser. The eraser is just not working, so I'm going to use acrylic paint to paint on the bunny. Yes, I'm using you. Hello, is someone in there? Hello? Did I ring the doorbell? Okay, so here is the bunny head. But it kind of looks pinkish because somehow the purple is kind of mixing in with the pink. So it's kind of looking weird right now. Here's my sister's yellow egg. That's what she painted on her yellow egg. Okay, and here's my bunny. Now I finish it. It's so cute. And it's so fat. And that makes it cute. And now I added a nest and some eggs. There's the bunny. Super cute. And the eggs again. And the nest again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.